So some of you are asking yourself, okay, I, I get how to do it, but how is that square root any simpler than the one I started with? It seems like I just complicated it up and the directions didn't say complicate a square root. So here's why it helps to be able to simplify square roots. It lets you recognize things that you can combine. So let's say I have 180, the square root of 180 plus the square root of 80 minus 120, the square root of 125. Well, I don't just looking at these see anything I can immediately do. But I'll try factoring each of them and see if I get anywhere useful. So 180 factors into 9 times 20. 9 is a perfect square. 20 has a 4 in it and a 5 in it. 4 is a perfect square. 5 is prime. This is going to factor as 9 times 4 times 5. Well, what about plain old 80? Well, I see that I could factor that immediately. I, I lunge for the 10 and the 8. 10 and 8. 10's got a 5 and 10's got a 2. Those are both prime, so I must be done. Over here, 8's got a 2 and a 4. 4 is a perfect square. I've also got a double factor in here. I've got a, a 2 and another 2. So those together would make 2 squared or another 4. And I could even combine my 4's because I have two fours. Well, four times four would be four squared, which is 16. So I can make a pretty big perfect square here. I end up with 16 and I have that five. There was nothing else I could do. So I have 16 times five. And maybe I didn't see this, maybe I ended up with 4 times 4 times 5. That's fine, because those 4s would just turn into 2s. So let's look at 125. Well, I see that I can divide a 5 out. So I have 5 times 25. 25 is a perfect square, it's 5 times 5. So this one I can rewrite as 25 times 5. So then this I can rewrite as square root 9 times square root 4 times square root 5. This one I can rewrite as square root 16 times square root 5. This one I can rewrite as square root 25 times square root 5, and then pop out come my perfect squares. I get 3 times 2 times root 5, oh, and these were added and these were subtracted um, back from my problem up here. Pop, that becomes a 4 root 5, that becomes a 5 root 5. And since all of these are being multiplied by root 5, I can combine them, just like they're like terms. Same idea. I'm going to do my multiplication here first and get 6 root 5, and then I think it's time to squish everything a little closer together, so I'm going to write this one back over here. So 6 plus 4, that would be 10 root 5s, because I have 6 root 5s here, I have 4 more root 5s here, 6 plus 4 would be 10. Then I need to take away 5 of my root 5s. If I have 10 root 5s and I take 5 away, I have 5 root 5s left. And this is certainly a simpler thing to deal with than this was. And in order to see that I could compress it all down to this, 
I had to go through this process. So maybe this looked more complicated, but in the end, it let us clean things up and simplify them.